What led me to research anxiety were a bunch of different things. At Moore College, every four years, I get given six months worth of study leave, which is a real kindness. Um, so I was having the opportunity to study something, and as I was talking with people about what to engage with, um, the anxiety topic had come up a few times actually because of my own experience, uh, because I've personally suffered from anxiety. Um, because also, I've, as a pastor, I've encountered lots of Christians who are wrestling with anxiety. And at that particular moment, uh, COVID was part of the scene, lots of the lockdown stuff was happening, and I was just aware of how many Christians were wrestling. And I thought, it's really important to speak God's word and God's truth towards this thing. Uh, the book's written for really three groups of people. For Christians who are currently struggling with clinical anxiety and trying to understand what to do with it. Um, for people who are caring for or loving or living with people who are struggling with anxiety and want to get a bit of perspective about how to care for them well and look after themselves as well. Uh, and I had a third group of people in mind, which is pastors of churches who I think actually engage with lots of Christians who are wrestling with these things and for whom having a big biblical framework out of which to speak the truth and pastor to people in this situation would be really important. Well, I think the main message of the book uh, is that uh, anxiety is probably a little bit more complex than we often think of it as. I think it's a complex interplay between um, our beliefs and thoughts and how we interact in our brains, the bodies that we live in, which are different from each of us and have inherited different things genetically and other things, and the environment in which we live. And for each person suffering anxiety, all of those things interplay. All of those three areas are affected by sin and the fall, the Bible says, and all are being healed by Jesus, but it doesn't happen at the same time in all those places in the same way. And so you have to think deeply about those things to understand how Jesus' work helps us to respond to and engage in the midst of anxiety. Look, I think the biggest thing that God wants to say to Christians who are wrestling with anxiety uh, is that uh, he loves you dearly and that you wrestle as someone not first and foremost that he sees as a sinner. You know, you've broken the commandment, don't be anxious about anything, and by being anxious, you've kind of displeased God. God actually knows and loves you, calls you his son or daughter, and cares for you, and holds you in a position of security, even as you wrestle with all of the discomfort that comes with anxiety. So particularly, it's an encouragement uh, that God has dealt with some of the guilt and the shame that's often associated with the condition and he puts you in a different place from which you can learn to love him and serve others even in the midst of your anxiety.